Hi guys, welcome back to Special People Special Stories. And you're here with your girl, I am Akran and Oluchi again. Guys, yes, welcome back to Special People Special Stories again. And I'm here with your girl Oluchi Oyimachi, and we're doing a follow up interview of our last interview a year ago. So, yeah, Oluchi, you're just going to like briefly introduce yourself again, tell us what your um, disability is, and then you're going to just give us a follow up. How has life been for you in the past year? What has happened? Uh, I found out that you're actually um, one of the escorts in University of Lagos, Nanvis. So you're going to give us like updates, how life has been, how you have been able to cope. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm back. I'm better now. Yeah. Oluchi, Grace Ongimachi. Three hundred level now. Yes, I'm in three hundred level now, finally. Um, Faculty of Education, Arts Education, studying history education, and well, <sighs> this year, last year. Well, it's been really, really, really well, up and down. A lot of mixtures of different kinds of things, the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm-hmm. Like I've had more opportunities of taking up roles now. I mean, if I, can't, if I go back to last year, I don't think I had anything to anything like in terms of roles or leadership being tasked with anything. But now I can say at least I have about three responsibilities outside my school work and my own personal. Um, can you help us list those opportunities? Okay, so for now, okay, right now, in my Vision in Personnel Association, that is NAMVIS, Nigeria Association of Nigerian Vision in Personnel, in that chapter, I'm the welfare secretary, Ooh. and then um, University of Lagos. Red Cross Detachment, PRO 2. Then also my campus fellowship, I was made the welfare secretary there. <laughs> so, I mean, that's it. Been, that's how it has been so far. So just a reminder, I'm actually a visually impaired person. You may not be able to tell because my body language may not say because I can still look and my focus is still, is still there. But I'm partially sighted. That's why I have low vision. So we've had an update from Oluchi and how she has been able to take off roles. Because if you remember in our last interview, Oluchi stated that she was not blind, that she is partially sighted. She can choose her color of clothes. Do you remember Oluchi? Yeah, we spoke about that, that she can choose her color of clothes. She knows what she wants to do and that she wanted to take up more responsibilities. And she didn't want people to look down on her because of her disability. Now, Oluchi has stated that in her fellowship, she's the welfare secretary in Namvis. She's also the financial secretary welfare secretary as well and then in university of lagos red cross detachment she is the pro2 so people have now trusted oluchi in taking up responsibilities which was what she wanted she didn't want people to look at her disability she wanted them to know that in that disability there's actually a greater ability so basically oluchi you're going to tell us like the this like what you have gone through basically like the good and the bad of taking up those responsibilities because i know that sometimes even as somebody that doesn't have any form of disability i know that taking up responsibilities can be tasking so for someone now that is partially sighted and these jobs that you have been given for instance pro you have to send messages i'm one of the recipients of those messages right and i see how well you type you you rarely make mistakes so can you just give us like a rundown of how it has been taking up those responsibilities Okay, so, well, I can't say it has been easy because, like, even in my corner, my own little space, I still have to challenge myself and also prove to prove that I can do this. I mean, as a vision person student, I have to compete and contest against vision persons like me for the welfare secretary position. So I have to do a lot of campaigning. I have to write my own manifesto, talking about my own passion as a person, why I should be chosen as a chosen as the next welfare secretary. So, I mean... I would still say my partial sight has been a blessing, even though I sometimes I feel like it has been a curse sometimes, but I won't say it in a bad way, but like it has its own downside because a lot of people don't believe that, okay, for instance, in my vision impaired community, some people don't feel like, like they feel like I can't see, or sometimes they feel like I can see so well. So like it's this, or there's also another kind of um, where people look at things within even our own space. So like, 
just like I have to prove to anybody outside that I can do something, I still have to prove to my own visual impaired person that I can do this. So some of the places, some of the ways I have to, I've had to do these things that I've had to um, maneuver. That is, I've, I've had to be adaptable to my environment. So I know I can't see at night because I, um, my vision is limited and low. So I don't go out at night. So if I'm going to do any errand, I do it in the daytime. Also, I can't see under the sun. So I will either ask someone to assist me, or I get a face cap, or I will wait out the sun to when it's towards sunset. That's around four, five, six, and I cannot go out. Then in terms of typing on my phone, I just put out all the messages I need to put out. I put it on my notepad, because I've made my notepad accessible to me. I've made my notepad dark in color, dark mode.